Um, but I, I, I think banks are dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. I think banks are dinosaurs. And I think the idea that you can replace a lot of lending with, with, with a new digital format, I, I think makes sense. But I don't think it's going to happen in the next two months. And I don't think it's going to happen in the way it's, it's being portrayed in some of the DeFi circles. Ah, that's perfectly said. I couldn't have summarized it better. And I think you, you said like those projects that are surfacing that will end up surfacing. It reminds me a little bit of the FANG stocks, right? Like yeah. out of all the, the rubbish, there's a Facebook, Amazon, yeah. Google, and Netflix. There's some legitimate yeah. projects like you mentioned, Aave Compound. But that like surface. every big tech revolution, and that goes back to railroads, that goes back to telecoms, that goes back to the dot com. You have this Cambrian explosion of people trying yeah. stuff. And you actually have to have like a thousand failures for one or two really big successes because yeah. people fail and learn and share and, and, and you get, you know, people, you know, pulling a fast one or whatever else, but all of that coalesces to creating enough energy. It's almost like the, the booster rockets on a, or the, you know, booster engines on a rocket and they just, yeah. it lifts up a small number of players, but they get to, you know, they get to change the, the, the world. Maybe wow. they get to change the, the market at least and, and, and that ecosystem. That's fascinating. And I have to bring up the interview had a real vision. Uh, what an awesome interview talking about Internet 3.0, the decentralized web. You had so many fascinating, fascinating perspectives. And I have to ask you, Des, like, could you tell us or answer the question of who owns the Internet? Like that was such a cool, cool topic. Yeah. Um, well, so it's, it's a great question. And let's just try to unpack it a little bit and try and um, uh, so there's a strange thing that happens, right? When you're on the web, because we're on it every day and because we're on it many times a day, maybe even a hundred times a day when you count checking your phone and doing different things, we kind of have this like, um, I call it like the boil frog syndrome. So over time, the web is changing. The web is very different from what it was 20 years ago. It's a different thing.